Today we're going to do the functional reach test, which is a test that tests your stability by seeing how far you can reach from a fixed position without taking a step forward and without falling. So I'm going to get you to do it and I'm going to stand here in case the patient falls. Okay. And first we're going to do two practice trials and then we're going to do three real trials, and I'm going to take an average of those to get your score, okay? Okay. All right. Hello. Today we're going to be doing the modified functional reach test, which is the same as the reach test, except it's for people who are on the stand. So the starting position is with you seated with your back against the chair, knees bent, and feet on the ground, and you want your heels to be beneath your knees. What you're going to do is reach as far as you can, and I'm going to take that measurement. We're going to have two practice trials and three trials where I will record your measurement. And I will be standing in front of you to make sure you do not fall. Okay? okay. Ready? We're gonna do this the same thing we just did, except now you're just gonna to lean to your right and I'm gonna take these measurements, okay? Two practice and three for real. except now you're leaning to your left. Hello. 
Today we're going to be doing the DASH, which is a questionnaire that asks about your perceived ability of your upper extremity. So, this questionnaire asks about your symptoms as well as your ability to perform certain activities. Please answer every question based on your condition in the last week by circling the appropriate number. If you did not have the opportunity to perform an activity in the past week, please make your best estimate on which response would be the most accurate. If it, it doesn't matter which hand or arm you use to perform the activity, please answer based on your ability regardless of how you perform the task. We use this questionnaire as a baseline and we'll do it again later on in the treatment to see how the patient has progressed. And a higher score indicates a greater disability and a lower score indicates a lesser disability.